Actually, we can play Yawn, I guess. Although, I don't... I mean, playing Yawn when I'm, like, seeing ghosts is not really the smartest thing ever. But whatever. Okay, let's go here. Okay, it goes there. I think... I mean, I know Knight C6 is definitely a move here. I'm gonna just play it. Okay, he, he, he does the safe route. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't do the safe route. I thought he might get exciting with, like, takes. Um... I just go like well first I have Queen d6 I have this and then Queen e7 but if I play Bishop e6 what's his move actually I think I might have just blundered this Sun is Sun is shining yeah I think queen b5, I just go bishop d7, actually. And there's knight d4 coming as well. Okay, so he takes. So I can take with the pawn. I'll just take with the knight, kind of. But I'm just going to take with the pawn. I don't know if it's right, but I just don't really feel like going deep into the tank here. It takes, I guess I... This will be interesting. We'll see what happens here. I don't think this is correct, though. Let's go here. So if I get f6, I'm saving. He takes. I think I just take with the king, maybe. This will be interesting. So he's going to take the pawn. Oh, he's not going to take the pawn. Okay. All right. I can play rook b8, maybe. Although it's not a real... It's not actually a threat. But whatever. Let's just do it anyway. I can play like queen d6. Rook b2 is not a move, by the way, just to be clear. Actually... No, I can't do that. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, my, my brain is actually... I'm just not seeing things. Let's go f5. Okay. Actually, I had rook b2 there. Why didn't I just take? I could have just taken there. That was really insane of me not to take. Okay, but now I can definitely take. Let's just go for it here. Hopefully, I'm not blundering. So, knight e4. Okay. I mean, I hope I'm not blundering. d4, e4, knight g5. I just go back. Okay. Goes knight e5. Now, obviously, taking go queen c5. Rook c1, queen b6, queen a3. Wait a second. Wait, I have bishop d5 is no good. I have rook b6 maybe. So either I take queen c5, rook a c1, c1, rook a c1, rook a c1, queen b6, queen a3. I can make a draw. I don't really want to make a draw, but I might have to. Whatever, it's still fine. Let's just do this. Actually, why did I play this? Yeah, okay, I go queen b6. That's right, yeah. And it's just a draw, I guess. I hope it's a draw. I hope I'm not actually blundering something here. I could be blundering, but yeah, I go here, he takes, I go here. And it's just a draw, I think. Should be a draw, but it might not be a draw. Check. He does take. I mean, I can take with a pawn. How good is this? If I take with a pawn, knight a4. I'm trying to do something very tricky here. Um, I'm supposed to take with a rook and go here. This should be a draw, unless I'm blundering. I mean, he can go e3, but I just go like double. The draw is okay here, although Jan's a little bit underrated right now, so it's not not thrilled by it, but it is what it is, as the saying goes. He's gonna go e3, of course. Why is he thinking so long, actually? Can I go here? If he can't take, so I take. Actually, why did I play H5? That was insane.
Actually, you know what? I don't feel like giving him a draw, and I'll tell you why I don't feel like giving him a draw. I don't feel like giving him a draw because there was a game where he flagged me last time we played when I was not playing very well. There was a game where he flagged me, so I'm going to flag him here. There was a game he flagged me. There was a game he flagged me last time we played. I didn't forget it. We played a game, and he flagged me in our, in our last sequence. There was a game we played last time we played. I think I did very badly. I lost like three or four nothing. It was the day I was going to play Jonas. Or not Jonas. It was the day I was talking about Jonas like a week ago, almost a day. And he, he flagged me in one of those games, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There was a game he flagged me. I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm insane, but there was some game that he flagged me not, not long ago. Let's go here and here. There was no check. I don't think there was a checkmate, but maybe there was. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, let's just go here. Let's be traditional. Just castle and take. Oh, did I just allow E5? I guess this is just very dry, right? Yeah, actually, I don't know why I did this. This this, this is fine. In fact, it's completely fine for black, but um, the good news is neither side can really win. That's the good news. So I'm going to try to bore Jan to death here, and hopefully he'll make a blunder somewhere down the road. Um, let's go here, but it should be three, maybe. I'm going to bring my king close to center, too. Maybe I have rook a4. Maybe just b4 solid. Just com completely consolidate the structure. Let's go g3, h4, maybe. Bring the king in. Place g5. Very interesting option. Take. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. He has rook e7. This is nothing. Um, I can play rook f1. I can also go king f3, maybe. Let's go king f3. So rook d3, I have f5. Don't I? Let's go check. Although, actually, this was kind of a little bit much. Why did I play this? This was way too much. Why did I do this? Uh, this might still be a draw, but I actually should not have done this. Let's go here, I guess. Yikes. Very bad, but I'm still going to draw the game. Even though he has a pin, I can move the king or move the rook. Should be a draw. Six. I'll just move my king here, I guess. It looks okay. I think I'm going to draw this now. He flagged me in some game. Maybe I'm just insane and losing my mind, but I feel like there's... Whoa. Now, that, however, is an insane move. Because now he's going to have to worry about this pawn. That was really insane of Jan. I don't know why he played rook d5. Because if he checks, I just come up and go back. It's still a draw with correct play, of course. But he has a big weakness now. And if I can get some kind of end game, I'm probably winning. Sex? Wait a second. There's definitely a draw with correct play. But can I somehow beat him here? Let's go here. Oh, he's just got b6, but then I go here, pawn's weak. I can't lose this. That's the good news. And he's going to have to use a lot of time here. Let's just go here, I guess. I want to get the king off the dark square bishop d4. I don't really want to trade, but I don't really have a choice. Okay, let's go. Maybe like here, rook h7 is a threat. Bishop d4 is always a threat. Go here to hit the pawn. Okay, this must be losing somehow though. This this has to be losing. Let's go here and attack the pawn. Check king here, king e4. I think I just go maybe here. Go here. That's a good move. I missed that. Bishop e4 is no good. And now I win the game, I think. I win both juicers.
hit the pawns and let's, let's win the game. Let's bring it home. Resigns, let's go. Play the Berlin. Oh, was not expecting that, okay. I guess I'll go bishop b4. I can also just play this maybe in d6 or a6. Okay, play this. Okay, so I'll play h6. So I'll play h5, obviously. I come back, I play d6. Pretty standard stuff here. Uh, let's go here. Probably d6 next move. It's knight f6. I guess he has h5. I could have played f5 too, maybe. It's a move. Um, I actually don't like my position. This is actually a pretty ugly position. Let's go queen e7. F4, I just take and go like bishop f5. Maybe I have knight g4 at some moment. Um, I can't really... I'm just going to go here. I don't know if this is right. I actually need to move a little bit quicker. I have knight g4 too, I just realized, but whatever. I can't castle queen side because of queen a7. That's the only problem. He does play f3, which I kind of am surprised by, actually, because I didn't think that was the best move. Like, if I can get some c6 here or some chip of the structure, maybe it's playable. I don't really want to take. I can play... Actually, let's just go b5. Idea b4, trap the trap the knight. This is 2-1, logical. I'm going to play c6, force him to trade. Well, I gave him g4 here. I still have queen a7 maybe at the end as well. Okay, I also have b4 here to remove the knight. Let's remove the knight first. Okay, that's step one. Step two is I can take the pawn. I can also maybe play... D5 and move D5, G5, Knight H5. Very, very sharp. I feel like I'm I should be better here somehow, but I'm probably gonna misplay this. So let's just go Queen A7. He just goes here. There's Queen C1. Let's go here, try trade some bishops. Open up the line. Queen C1 was a bad move, by the way, but it's still very unclear. If I can get a rook to c8 or play some d5, I'm doing very well here. Okay, queen d2 now. I can go queen d4. I can also just trade. I feel like I should have something here. Like, he he didn't... Queen c1 was a bad move by, by Jan, but it's actually still very, very unclear. I'm going to do this to try to play an end game. So if I get this... If I get a double stack, I'm doing well. g5. I can obviously trade. I can also play knight h5. I think this is better to keep this line closed. I also have 95 at some moment. I mean, this is very, very tricky. Um, let's go here and hit the pawn on f3. If f4, just knight f3, I guess. Um, might have to rook d1. Very tricky. I think I'm just going to go here. Oh, I just blundered this. But I do, do have this and this, maybe. Yeah, rook d1's a good move. Um, rook a7 or something? Let's go here. I want to go for this double up. Now I go... I've got knight g3. I also have knight e3. Right, let's go here and hit the rook and hit the pawn. Go here, hit the rook. He missed knight e3. And now I get this pawn, and now it's game on again. The gambit's an exchange, I take. I think I'm winning here, by the way, because he's going to lose his pawn. He has gh6 and everything, but just take. Just take. I think I'm gonna go. Still not easy to win, but I, I should be winning here if I play this correctly. Well, knight g4, knight e. Hmm. I need this rook on a4 or something. How do I do this? Okay, let's go here. Because now if he takes, I can take. I can also go here. Let's go maybe here to hit the pawn. B3, very strange move. So this rookie six. Let's just go for it. D3, knight D3. Let's just open up the position here. Yeah, I saw this, but I thought I could play like rookie six maybe. 
don't have ticks, I just... Oh, he's got knight b5. Whoops. I completely missed that, but I should be winning anyway. With, uh, I mean, this should be winning, but... Let's go check. Important check, by the way. King c2 was a terrible move by Jan. And now he's losing. Now, now there's almost no way that I don't win this. Just take. I'm gonna go check, or maybe... Go here, hit the knight, now we're to be two. Rook d2 is an awful move. Whatever. Why did I do this? There we go. And now we win the game. There we go. We got the win. Let's go here. Now I can play as like Magnus, but I'm just going to play this very slow. There's an H4, H5 that's supposed to be really good for white, but let's just play as very slow. Actually, I can play a5, but let's just go rookie one. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, c5 should not be correct. Because if he takes, I have e5. I think knight b3 is a move, but actually, I really don't like the way I've played this either. Let's just drop back. If d5, maybe e5. We'll see. Maybe knight c4 is a threat too. Um, actually, what about knight c4 and a5? And these knight b6. Go here. Create this big bind. I don't know if it matters really necessarily, but it looks. Um, what's with my mouse? Let's go in here. I mean, I guess I still have bishop g5 and something like this. Not in love with this, but I think it's okay. Let's just go here. Hit the rook. Let's go here and maybe bishop g3. This actually looks very wrong by me somehow. Yeah, because he's got e5, which I for some reason didn't even realize was a move. <sighs> okay, I can play. Hmm. No, Rook D1's a blunder. Actually, I've really, I'm really misplaying this game. Let's let's do this. I, I'm sure this is bad. Go here. Maybe Rook C1's a move. I also have 95, maybe. Very, very sharp position. Very, very unclear, too. And knight b6 is a threat also. Like, I mean, I, I actually have probably a very reasonable position, but I, I just, it feels... I thought I could have gotten better than this without this, like, wild counterplay going on. Thank you to Sanchez for the tier 1, Ludoror with the tier 1, Mr. Fister for the tier 1. Don't I have knight b6? I, I mean, I thought this was the whole point. So that I go here. Because I open up this. Maybe, like, work to... I mean, this looks really bad, actually. So he can't take... I mean, you can maybe go like knight f4, but again, this doesn't look right at all for black. King H8, so obviously I just take this rook. No, I mean, I can play like rook D1, maybe. I'll do this. Oh, bishop C4 is a much better move there. Bishop C4 is a much better move, because I gave knight F4. This was unconscionable, what I just did. <sighs> okay, I go here, bishop G3. I mean, it's still fine for me, but I'm pretty upset that I just did this. Maybe knight c4. I mean, f3 is always a move. I can also take and just go g3, maybe. This doesn't look right, but it's something. Queen c8. Actually, queen c8 is a very good move. I missed that. Now I have to go here, take knight e4, maybe. I, 
mean, if I get knight d6, I'm fine. Okay, queen f5. I have to be very careful how I play this. Rook d3, g4. Maybe just rook e3. So I still have knight d6 at the rook. Or so I can take. Wait, there should be an in-between. Can I go rook d3? No. Knight d6. Wait, he doesn't have queen h3. What am I thinking? He, he doesn't. I thought he could go queen h3. I just missed this move. Okay, now I should be fine. Uh, I have to play, be careful how I play this, though. One sec. Not takes. F4 looks fine. I just take it. Okay, now I, now I must be winning. I just have to be precise. Here. Let's go. No, then he's queen c2. Okay, but this must be winning. Just rookie 7 Give him bishop f8. I should not have checked either. Why did I do that? It's just insane. It was still winning, but I'm not happy. Although, actually, now there should be a pretty clean way to win this. Um, I don't really want to take. Let's just go here. There. This should be winning for me. Um, I just need to be precise. That was a bad move. Here, maybe? Let's go here, and I'm win. Much better yeah that was good that, that last game my technique was very good i didn't panic um like when i found this it, it already actually was very unclear here i think what he missed is he could have gone king g4 oh wait no then i have h3 oh no i uh, no what am i smoking But my technique was very good because it like already here it was getting very very messy i'm pulling out of that early january slump well i mean i feel like i'm i mean I, I don't know if i'm pulling out of it i just i played a couple of good games today against Jan. but i thought my play was pretty good like i didn't panic this was good although what's insane is when i played knight d6 i actually thought he had queen h3 like i mean he has, he has queen h3 here i thought he could go he could magically jump the pawn and play queen h3 so that's actually a good good example of why I should not keep playing. Because I, I I just I literally I took like five extra seconds because I thought he could go knight d6, queen h3, and then I realized wait, but there's a there's a pawn on g4, so I can't do that obviously. But I mean this whole game was like very very messy. Like somewhere around here, I also did this wrong. Like I wanted to go rook c7. The idea that now I go f5, and in this order it just wins because both these squares are to check. And when he goes h5, I rook h7. And so I like I saw the order, and then in my head I played the wrong move. I played f5 first, whereas I meant to go this first and then f5, but I played the wrong order and um, very very poor at any rate. And then somewhere around here, I guess it was just always winning, but yeah, it's very very messy. 